Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay, first let us start with the if condition. Generally, if we go for that uh, previous type of condition means uh, not previous type in uh, previous programmings. So if you go for C, C++, the if condition after that we will be provide we will be opening and closing the brackets and therefore uh, within that only we will be providing all the statements over there with semicolons. But here the most important thing is I'm just uh, providing a input. Okay, and I'm going to compare only the numbers. So I'm going to take it as a input then bracket enter the number yeah sorry so now i'm going to provide b the same enter the number one input within bracket enter the number So two variables are ready. If a greater than b, print a is greater. So this is very simple program. Now I'm running it and giving And therefore here a is greater so now b is only greater so for that we have to provide else so the most important thing over here we have to note down the indentation indentation part is most important wherever the cursor is being uh, starting that line you have to follow in that way b is greater so this comes with And therefore now b is greater okay so within this itself we can add elif so instead of else if here we will be using the elif condition a equal to equal to b print both the values are equal Twenty-three, twenty-three. So both the values are equal, and these are the different conditions of if. Okay. So now here for each and every time I am providing it as an uh, what to say I am running the code to enter that uh, data again and again. So to get the data again and again continuously, I am creating the loop. Loop is nothing but continuous process. And here I'm going to provide as while loop. So while loop is nothing but entry control loop. And this must be the position. So here I am creating. So again it comes. So again and again here I can enter the value continuously. Okay. So to stop it. Here I can click on stop and definitely the error will be thrown over there. So does anybody have any doubts regarding this uh, if condition and uh, while loop? And this is just a simple code. Yeah. Okay, fine. Any other? Does any other have any doubts? While loop, it is nothing but uh, entry control loop. 
okay so based on that uh, entry itself we will be able to control the functions so here i can provide it as one or provide it as two or even with that particular variables also i will be able to uh, declare that particular uh, time period so here directly i have provided it in the form of true so therefore it will be able to consistently apply in a different different string sections and hence it will be working continuously if you guys have any doubt i can just post it Yes, the true condition it states for the continuous thing. So until we stop that particular uh, iterations, uh, it will be taking it as uh, moving on. So that's why only here we have provided as true, true or one. If you are providing zero or false, means only once it will be executing. Wherever it is true, it will repeat it. Yes, definitely. What if only want to repeat this as two three times? Uh, you have to uh, provide it as uh, loop basis control, like declaring the variable. So how means? Uh, here I am providing x equal to zero. So here I am providing while to be run in the form of x equal to three. Okay. So here I am providing it as x equal to x plus one. Uh, actually, uh, you can provide break. Break is available, or you can stop by clicking on this button. Oh, I have given it a string. Sorry. So for three times, it will be taking. So this is the third input. I hope by this it will be stopping. So it has stopped because it has taken the inputs of three. So zero, one, and two. So, is that uh, clear for this? Any other doubts? Yeah, if you have any doubts, you can just post it in chat. No need of uh, raising the hand. Yeah. So here for writing it. Uh, I mean, the loop should be executed only for three times, according to my instruction. And here I have initialized the variable with the default count. And here I have given the condition, so not more than three. And here I have given, that is, so whatever the x value I have given, that should be provided with plus one whenever it is entering into the loop. Okay, and that value will be stored over here. And here also it will be calculating. So if it is x equal to one means it will be working then. If it is again x equal to two means it will be working in zero, two, sorry zero one two till this three integers it will be working once whenever it comes over here as three it will stop executing. Okay, so here uh, I am going to provide you the task and before providing the task I will uh, just explain regarding the for loop. So after for loop I will provide you. The task you can take it as the home task and you can show me the output tomorrow so initially uh, when we go for the for loop uh, the particular syntax whichever we follow it is nothing but for within bracket initialization comma condition comma in increment or decrement so this is known as 
the for loop initially which were working in multiple programs so now uh, whatever we are going to see in python it is completely different okay the syntax will be entirely change so here i'm specifically writing other programming then uh, therefore once whenever we go like uh, for in range so range is another keyword within the range of 0 to 100 sorry here i did not declare the variable variable is must i am making it as i or i in range of 10 to 100 print i okay so this is nothing but the for loop so from uh, this is known as the initialization okay and this particular thing is the condition so in this condition we can uh, we should provide in two way like uh, one is starting point and another one is ending point so here even i can also provide it in this way also then also the same answer only because initially the i is taken as zero okay so if i want to start from a particular point means that is also applicable so this parameter it comes for the starting and once again if i want to make it as an interval based so at each interval so i am taking the intervals of 10 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 and 95 so in case if i am providing zero means it will be taking in this particular way 0 to 90 what happens if i add one more number 101 and therefore i will be getting it as 100 so this is nothing but the for loop in python so the task is you guys have to create a password system uh based on from yesterday till now what and all we have seen you have to create a password system which is providing a maximum attempt for three times is that clear you have to create a password system which is providing an attempt for three times if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends Don't forget to subscribe our channel.